Uneasy lies the mine scene, 43, take one. And action. Hi, my name's Ricky Fosheim, and I'm up here in Mammoth Lakes, California, where I shot my latest movie, Uneasy Lies the Mind. Action. One of the really cool things about this project is that we shot the entire movie on the iPhone 5. And a lot of people have been asking me lately, why did I choose to do this, and how did I pull it off? Uneasy Lies the Mind is a very dark and gritty psychological thriller, so I knew I needed a camera that could create that soft, grainy, almost 16 millimeter feel. And after doing a lot of research, coupled with some extra tools here, I realized that the iPhone 5 was the perfect camera to shoot this project. Forward, like kind of the closest you'll lean. I want to get the exposure from that. One of the main tools I used to shoot on the iPhone was the Turtleback lens adapter. Basically, the iPhone 5 just slips into this case. Screw it on back here. And then you attach your lens adapter, which is just this device right here. Action. Now, at this point, you can attach pretty much any lens you want. Right now I have a Nikon mount on, and we take our lens, screw this into the lens adapter. Pretty easy to use, took me 30 seconds to build this whole rig. So when shooting through the filter within this lens adapter, it really adds some cool characteristics to the image. The biggest one being this textured quality, almost like a thumbprint, as well as these dark vignetted corners. And all these really added to the, the aesthetic and that dark, gritty quality that I was going for. I used an app called Filmic Pro 2, which was really easy to use. You just adjust your white balance, adjust your exposure, and then adjust the focus on the barrel of the lens. There are also a lot of really cool settings that allow you to change resolution, frame rate, and compression. Now one of the other major reasons why I chose to shoot this movie on the iPhone was for performance reasons. The camera is so lightweight and easy to use that at times the actors barely even knew we were filming. There was no big delays in between takes or in between setups. The actors were able to stay in character and it really helped capture some candid performances. That's what I want to know. That's why I'm trying to crack the code, you know? It's all about a bunch of mumbo jumbo here. You're right, it is. And it's all coming from you, buddy. You just you need to take it easy, baby. Another really cool thing about this camera is how small it is. I was able to fit it in tiny places, even places where the smallest DSLR camera wasn't able to fit. It was really fun dancing around with the actors and putting this between arms or in corners of walls or places that you just can't fit a bulky rig. Action. So what's it like? What's what like? Good. I had such a great time shooting this movie on the iPhone, and I can't wait to see what other filmmakers are able to do with it. Hopefully you get the chance to check it out. We're going to have to have the music off.